There is an amazing widget out there right now that allows you to show what song is currently playing on your stream for your viewers. And what makes it great is that you can use a Spotify account or you can just use your YouTube account. And it also actually works. You don't have to reset it a thousand times. You don't have to reset it for every single stream. It's just nice when you find something that just works, right? Let's get into it. Guys, welcome back to the Mr. Tux channel. I'm very happy to be going over this tutorial with you for this widget because it's just nice when you find a widget that works and one to show what currently playing song is one that we have been missing as of, well, till now. What we want to do is go over this and make it as simple as possible for you to understand it because it does get a little technical. Whether you're using Spotify or YouTube, I'm going to have the video cut up into different parts so that you can skip ahead to one of these timestamps, whichever method that you're using. I'm also going to have the video cut up into different sections so that you guys can follow along a lot easier. And if you've already watched part of this tutorial and you're trying to recap, then you guys can skip on down to the end. The first part of this tutorial is the same if you're going to be using Spotify or if you're going to be using YouTube. And that is you need to make a last.fm account. And that is another site that I have a link down in the description for. Go look for that, click on it, and it's going to bring you over to this site. So after you hit the link in the description, it is going to bring you up to this page. And what you're going to want to do is go up and hit join and now here you're going to fill out everything you need to in order to make your account now remember your username after you create the account do the robot verification and agree to the terms of service and then create the account now after creating your last.fm account they will send you an email to verify your account make sure you go to that you click on the link inside of that email in order to verify that account. After you verify that account, it may ask you to log in again. After you log in, you say you can now continue to use last.fm. Click that. Now that you have made your last.fm account, now this is where it gets a little bit different for those that are going to use Spotify and those that are going to use YouTube. If you're going to use YouTube, I suggest that you go and check out this timestamp here because that's where I'm going to show you how to link your YouTube account with your last.fm account. For Spotify users, we're gonna go over that right now. If you're using your Spotify account, go up and hover over the profile icon and go down to settings. In your settings, go to the applications tab and next to Spotify scrobbling, you're gonna hit connect. Now, when it does that, it is going to ask you to connect your Spotify account and sign in. It doesn't matter if you're using Spotify Premium or the free version, it's going to be the same either way. This works with both. Now, if you're only using your Spotify account, that's all you need. Then you can jump over to this step and this timestamp here in order to move on to the next process. Or if you're trying to use your YouTube account, then what you want to do is this. You want to scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the page and you're going to click on track my music and you're going to click on YouTube. After clicking on YouTube, you want to click on more info under YouTube. After you click more info, you'll come and you'll scroll down to these three links. If you use Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge or Opera, you'll want to use the first link. If you use Firefox, you'll want to use the second link. If you're using Safari, this program does not support Safari, so you're going to have to download Google Chrome or Firefox. Now, if you're using Google Chrome like I am, you're going to click on this link here and it's going to pop up to add this web scrobbler extension to your Google Chrome. You're going to add this extension. When it brings up this web page, you're going to click opt in. Now, after clicking opt in, you're not going to see the extension right away at the top right corner of your page. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the puzzle piece icon, and then you're going to come down to web scrobbler and you're going to pin that to your extensions. Now, after adding this extension, it is going to recognize what songs we're playing with our YouTube account, but it's still not connected to our last.fm account. In order to display this on our OBS with the next tool, we need to link this extension to our last.fm account. The way that we do that is this. Then you're going to right click on the web scrobbler icon and you're gonna go over to the left where it says accounts and you're gonna to go to the last.fm account and sign in. As you click sign in, it is going to bring you back to the last.fm site 
and you're going to click yes allow access now your account is linked to last.fm we're going to go into step four now what you may have to do is refresh the page if you already have music playing what you're going to see is now the icon is green and it is now recognizing what song is playing and it is also connecting back to your last.fm account now before we're absolutely done with this scrobbler extension you might have noticed in the bottom right hand corner you're gonna have seen a, a pop-up that says oh and now playing it's this song and we really don't want that because we're not gonna want that while we're streaming or trying to play a game or something so let me show you just how to disable that real quick you want to right click on the extension and you want to go to options after options you want to go again to options and under general you want to uncheck the box that says use now playing notifications then you can just refresh the page and you're all set then you will no longer get any of those annoying horrific notifications on your dashboard now if you do at any point in time want to disconnect either your youtube account or your spotify account it is very very simple all you're going to do is you're going to go back to last.fm and you're going to go over and hover over the profile icon you hover over the profile icon and you're going to go to settings after settings you're going to go back to the applications tab and you're going to see that both the last fm scrobbler for web you can disconnect here or you can disconnect your spotify the next tool that we are going to use is the pixel chat.tv tool now i have a link to that down in the description as well and so if you would click that please it is going to bring you to this site rest in peace mixer if you don't have a twitch account and you stream on youtube or another site it doesn't matter all you need to do is just log in this tool you can use for whatever streaming service that you do use and it is not held just to twitch or just held to mixer after you sign in with your twitch account your username password and then you authorize it go over to the overlays tab you're going to click that and as you can see on mine i now have the now playing overlay already up but i'm going to show you how to redo that what you're going to do is you're going to go over to create a new overlay and you're going to go down and find the now playing widget you click on this one just like i have here now what you want to do is you want to click on the edit pencil icon as you do that the overlay title i'm just going to name now playing two because we already have one normally your overlay title and your overlay description are not important what is important though is you need to scroll down and you need to link your last.fm username and if you can't remember what your username is is go back to last.fm and you're going to go over to the top right and hover over your profile icon your username is right here at the very top of that so i'm going to put in mr tux underscore tv right here into this bar over on the right you're going to have a preview box for it if you don't have spotify or you don't have youtube open currently playing something then there isn't going to be a preview so what you're going to want to do is open either your spotify or your youtube and start playing a song after you link your account you may have to refresh the page but your preview will show up and it will show your currently playing song just as we have on our spotify as you can see we have that song playing, but the preview did disappear. Now I'm going to show you why it is because of your settings at the moment. Now there are a lot of great options in order to make this widget look really good, but you're not going to see any of them unless you hit this stay open all the time option. You want to click that so that you have the preview open. And that way, when you're going through your settings, your text color, your max width or corner rounding, whatever it is, you're going to be able to see it here instead of trying to plug it into your stream first and then adjusting it after words just look at the preview here it makes it much easier i keep mine on all the time anyways during my stream i think it looks better it looks better for the stream that way somebody can always know what song is playing this is the icon that is the default it's not the one that i use particularly i enjoy more the the smaller one it fits better i think it aesthetically looks better looks cleaner and there are some more options with this that you can customize to make it look more yours be your kind of stream maybe you have a different color scheme that you want to match this to so if you come over to background tint for say and you want to make it red it's not going to change 
the thumbnail color. It's only going to change the pop out to the right, the actual overlay for this. I like more of a darker, like a gray or even like a white, but I think that the gray allows the actual thumbnail and the behind picture to be seen a little bit better. Looks better for me, just my opinion. And also you can mess with the text color and you can also kind of make this different sizes. What we do is we use the auto feature and the rounding corner. You can really change what this looks like entirely. Just don't go full square mode. We use that default 15 point. I think that looks the best. And down here, you can also use this command song to trigger it in your Twitch chat. But if you don't want this icon, this widget to stay open all the time, then you can customize the length of time that it will pop open for when it changes a song. You can either do it on a song change or you can enable this option, which will only trigger when you're on command, either playing after pausing it or changing the song yourself. Now that you've got all the settings configured and it looks good and you're ready to plug it into your stream, let's jump over into your software to be able to do that. The way that you're going to do that is you're going to hit this button up at the top over here to open your overlay into a new tab. You're going to copy this link up at the top. So now that you are in your OBS, OBS Live or your OBS Studio, go to the scene that you want to add your widget on. And I have way too many scenes to begin with, but go to the scene that you are going to be adding this on and you're going to be adding a browser source. And when you add this browser source, I already have a now playing widget, but that's what I would call this is I would call this now playing. And I just made the O a zero so I could show you guys this. But as it pops up, it's going to look like this. And what you're going to want to do is take that link and paste it right into the URL spot here, just like that. And I don't need to resize it or anything like that. I just put that in just how I want it. It's going to open up just like that. And then you're going to want to refresh it as it goes right there. You may not even need to refresh it just like that. And I like to keep mine down kind of in the bottom left hand corner. It's a little more secluded and it still aesthetically looks good. And guys, you have officially just installed your now playing widget. Guys, if this video helped you out, make sure you guys consider subscribing, turning on the notifications because we do a lot of videos like this on this channel. And as well, I want to link you guys to some great copyright free music. This is not sponsored at all, but normally when people think of copyright free music, they think of like some trashy elevator music. This is not what that is. A great content creator named Harris Heller was able to create so much great copyright free music that all streamers are able to use on their streams in their YouTube videos. So I want to link that down in the description down below. If you had any trouble following any part of this tutorial, make sure to join the discord. I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description as well. There's hundreds of people in there that are willing to help you with your overlays as well as just collaborate and play to some different games as well as myself. So if you guys ever have any questions, make sure to drop in there. Also, if you are looking for a more direct response, get a better feel for that. You guys can come check me out when I'm live. I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and most Saturdays around like 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern. You guys can come hit me up there, ask whatever questions you need, or just leave a comment down below because I'm normally responding to everybody's comments. So guys, I'd appreciate it if you guys gave this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will make sure that I'm putting out way more content than this so you guys can have the best looking streams possible and that you guys have all the information and tools that you need in order to grow your channels more efficiently and have them looking better than anybody else. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Stay busy. Uh, you trade? No way that was a trade. No, no, no. His teammate hit me. There's no way that was a trade. This is a trade battle. Dude, I'm... I'm... Crack them again. I, I can't move. Every time I stand up, I get stuck. And, and, there, and there's like no reason to stand up all the way. Dude, I can't.